I'm going to visit with you about row spacing and plant populations with dry bean. For a long tradition, NDSU has recommended establishing 70,000 plants per acre for pinto beans, which is our number one market type in North Dakota, and then 90,000 plants per acre for black and navy beans, which are our second and third most important market type in the state. This plant population recommendation has existed for decades, and so over the last decade, we have conducted field studies to see if we could fine tune the recommendations, primarily because dry bean growers are narrowing up the rows. These recommendations on plant populations have been based on 30 inch rows, but especially with black and navy beans, the rows have, have uh, narrowed up. They've gone from 30 inches to anywhere between 15 and 22 inch row spacings. So we conducted these trials over the last decade here at Carrington, in the Valley, in Langdon. Quite recently, we've produced publications to revise our old recommendations. So I'd like to tell you about that. And we'll start with black and navy beans. Again, the old recommendation was 90,000 plants per acre with 30 inch rows. Our research has indicated that narrowing the rows going from 30 inch down to an intermediate row spacing, uh, in this case we were going down to 14 inch and compared to 21 and 28 inch, 14 inch was, was the highest yielder. And so the, the row spacing actually had a higher impact on both black and navies as compared to uh, adjusting the plant population. With our black market types, we did find that, that there was a very minimal yield response to different plant populations. So we'd encourage people to uh, reduce their rows to a narrower distance with black beans and their plant populations, if they're around that 90,000 or so, that should be very good. With navy beans, when we looked at the two factors, we saw a positive interaction with the two. And so our, our research is indicating that if a person can narrow their rows, go down to even 14 or 15 inch rows, and increase their plant popula population to at least 115,000 plants per acre early in the season, that should optimize their yield. And then most recently, uh, we've been doing work with pinto beans. Again, it's our number one market type in the state. And with pinto beans, there's uh, less of a, a movement currently to go to narrow rows, but our, our research is indicating narrow rows would be very good. So our research was looking at 18 to 21 inch rows compared to wide rows, either 28 or 30. And then our plant populations that we targeted in the field studies included the 70,000, and then we also went down to 50,000 and up to 90,000. And what we found with, with the interaction of the two factors is that just like the navy and black, narrowing the row spacing had a larger impact compared to the plant population. And so by narrowing the rows from wide to the intermediate row spacing, ranging from 18 to 22 inch, we saw uh, quite a dramatic yield increase. And then uh, when we looked at the factors alone, an average across 11 trials saw a yield increase of about 20% compared to wide rows. And then when we looked at the other factor, plant population, it was more of a modest increase going from the standard, the 70,000 plants to something higher. In our trials, where we were comparing 70,000 to 87,000 plants per acre, we saw a yield increase with a higher plant population of about 5%. So as a summary, in all three market classes, narrowing the rows certainly improved our yield prospects. And the plant populations uh, less so, but we, we had our, a greater response with navy beans and, and response also with pinto beans by increasing plant populations. Mm -hmm.